good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into some brand new AEW action figure news. We got like a little bit of a playset pack deal that we'll dive into, as well as some other things AEW figure related. We have a Series 6 figure that was leaked out to us, as well as the images of AEW Series number 5. So we have a lot of AEW stuff going on here. I'm going to break it all down in this video, and it's going to be absolutely epic. So let's go ahead and just dive straight into it, guys. Let's, let's just start off with the pack. Let's start off with the, the, the first off thing that was kind of leaked out here over the weekend. And we're going to get into this right here, guys, pulling it up. You guys can see on your screen it says AEW Unrivaled Collection Action Pack. And if you guys can zoom in there. I'll try my best to kind of zoom in on the items as we go in here and we, we break down everything that we got going on. But you guys can see here that it looks like we have a AEW Unrivaled Collection Wrestling Figure Weapons Pack is what this looks like to me. Now a lot of people were going around the community saying, you know, is this real? Is this a leak? Is this like fake? But to me it doesn't look fake, okay? It, lo it looks pretty real to me. Like uh, the biggest telltale sign is that that Unrivaled Collection sign, the Action Pack sign, the AEW, all of that looks pretty much identical to the AEW packaging that we already get. You know, you go in the store, you find it. Any mock AEW figure always looks like this. I mean, you, you can just look at it. It looks official. I, if this is a fake, this is probably the best damn fake I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't think this is fake. I think this is 100% real. Now, I can't tell you when I think we're going to get it, where we're going to get it, all these things. My best guess would maybe be a ringside exclusive weapon pack is what I would guess in my brain. I don't see this going out to retail or anything, but you never know. You know, Jeremy did work with Jax back in the day, and I think he was the one that, you know, uh, engineered those those uh, accessory packs that we used to get, you know, like the brawler packs with like the crazy accessories and stuff like that. I don't know that for sure, but I think that was the case. So, I mean, I guess anything's possible. I would love to see these out at retail. I would probably buy like 76 of them, but I would imagine this is probably going to be ringside exclusive. You guys know that we've seen this from Mattel before. We got the belt packs from ringside. We seen the ringside exclusive weapons pack that wasn't Mattel, you know, designed, I don't think, but, you know, it was it was a ringside exclusive weapons accessories pack that we've seen before. So this right here, um, it looks official to me. Now, let's break down some of the contents here. We don't have, like, a shot of the back of the packaging or anything like that, but if we zoom in here, you can make out some of the stuff. Now, I don't know what all of this is. The first thing being is that it looks like we do have, like, a 2x4 or a bat accessory with some barbed wire around it. Absolutely love that. You know, we've seen some things similar to that in the past with Mattel. Tell Jax, and so this looks pretty damn fire to me. The next thing that we have is a broomstick with the barbed wire on it, obviously from Kenny Omega and John Moxley's matchup. So that is really sick. You could use that in your feds or whatever for the cleaner Kenny Omega. You have a chain accessory, it looks like, in the uh, above the chair accessory over there. And so you have a steel chair with barbed wire wrapped around it, and then you have the chain accessory. Now, I'm hoping that that chain is actually a loose chain that you can, you know, that moves around like an actual chain, and it's not like rubber. I hate the rubber chains, you know, they kind of, I don't know, like the realistic feel to it and the weight to it and using it and being able to wrap it and stuff like that, that makes it for a lot of fun things. So hopefully that chain can actually be posed around and stuff. And then if you zoom in behind there, you guys will actually see that we have the little base gate thing from Kenny Omega and John Moxley's matchup where, you know, they got suplexed onto the barbed wire base. So that is what I'm thinking this gate thing is. It's going to be like a little base setup where you can stand it up. And then you will notice even further behind the gate looking thing that we get a bunch of barbed wire strands. And I think you're going to be able to stack those on top of that. It does look like it's going to come with a bunch of individually wrapped barbed wire things. So you can wrap up a bunch of stuff in barbed wire. So I'm looking at what, like six different coils a barbed wire maybe maybe even eight i can't make out the full details but it looks like there are like six or so barbed wire like wrappings back there so i guess you could use that for other accessories and stuff like that if you got a few of these you could do a lot of different things with the barbed wire like you could get really creative with your feds stop motions and your figure photography you could do a lot of great things with that so that would be really cool as well and it adds to a lot of great displays if you wanted to you know just get creative with it and do a lot of different things. So this is the first thing that I had to put up to you guys. I wanted to talk about this because it looks epic and I'm hoping that this is real. Again, if this isn't real, then it's probably the best damn fake I've ever seen and I want to know where you got all these things, and I would like to uh, purchase it. So there you go. But that's the first thing I wanted to cover, guys. The AEW Unrivaled Weapons Pack or Action Pack. 
Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think it's real? Would you buy this? What are you looking for? You know, all of those great things I would love to know down below. But that is the first thing that we have, guys. The next thing that we're going to cover is a leaked figure from AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number 6. Now, this is kind of up in the air. I don't know how, uh, you know, how real this is. I don't know what this is either. Uh, I think it's real. It looks real to me. So we're just going to go ahead and dive into it, guys. This is the AEW and Rival Collection Series number 6, Ray Phoenix in mock packaging. Now, there's a few things that we got to discuss about this. The first thing that you're going to notice about this Series 6 Ray Phoenix is that uh, the torso, the torso doesn't have any tattoos on it. Now, that could, what I'm imagining is that this is a real, you know, mock packaging prototype of the Ray Phoenix from Series 6. It does look like we're going to get the black and gold gear, which a lot of us were speculating about. We pretty much figured out that it was probably going to be that gear, so that's pretty nice to see. Can't wait to see what Pentagon looks like. I don't think this is the final figure because I think they're going to have their full tattoos. I don't know why they would print it out without the full tattoos on it. I highly doubt that AEW and Jazzwares and everybody would release a Ray Phoenix without all of his tattoos. Now, if it ended up being released without his tattoos, all you'd have to do is a head swap and a torso swap with a Series 2 figure, and it would be perfect. That's not something that would be ideal, though, so I hope to God that this thing does have, you know, it's his torso tattoos. I'm pretty sure it does. I, I just think this is a really early prototype or something like that. It's printed early, so they couldn't get all the good things going, and it was kind of of like this deal where they're just getting it out there. So I, I'm hoping that's the case. Maybe they're tweaking his t tattoos or something and they're trying to get it right. And this was just kind of a test run. It does look like a new head sculpt. He's, he's kind of smirking or has like a flat smile. It's not the same head sculpt we got with Series 2. You'll also notice in the bottom left corner that it does say number 50 Series 6 Ray Phoenix. So that is obviously not the Series 2 figure because we're way past, you know, the, the number that Series 2 was in 50 right there. So I don't know. This is definitely real. Also, another thing is that his his interchangeable hands with this figure look to be the exact same. So the uh, the spots beside him are the same hands. Why would it give us two of the same copies of hands? That's another telltale sign that I think this is a prototype. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything. Maybe this is just a little custom thing thrown inside of a Series 6 box. I don't know. It, it looks to me like this is real. So I don't know. You guys can make it with it what you will. But it does look like we're getting the black and gold gear, which is really sick. And I can't wait to see the rest of the figures. But over the weekend, guys... We had some epic reveals, and I think another thing that I want to notice is my boy Matt was the actual one who took the Series 5 photos of the AEW figures, and I'm so excited for him to get that opportunity. So huge shout-out to Matt MBG on Instagram. He's an absolute beast. He's also on YouTube, but he does all the epic figure photography, and he also got the ultimate chance here and the opportunity to take these promo pictures for the Series 5 AEW and Rival Collection figures. So first up, guys, we got to dive into my man Luchasaurus. You guys know I've been waiting on a Luchasaurus from AEW since the very beginning. Uh, ever since I saw this guy, ever since I saw him in the ring and wrestling and stuff, he instantly became one of my favorites in all of AEW. I'd say up next to Kenny Omega, he is at my top there. And this Luchasaurus looks incredible, man. It's so crazy how much it looks like the custom that we have. You know, we've made a couple iterations of Luchasaurus, and it's just so telling how good BEW is, how good that, uh, you know, these customizers are that can make these figures. It looks so much like what we're going to actually get, but this Luchasaurus looks amazing. I can't wait to have it in hand, pose him around. He is on MDT Live, which I'll probably do a PickFed update video here in a couple days so you guys can get the gist there. We'll update as we go along there, but Luchasaurus looks incredible. Head sculpt looks just like the head sculpts we've had. I mean, the, the, the colors and everything are absolutely fantastic, and the Luchasaurus is everything I could have dreamed of, man. It's so hyped to get that figure looks insane. Let's move on to the next figure, guys, which is going to be Jungle Boy. Now, a lot of people are trying to crap on this Jungle Boy. I don't know how the hell you could crap on this Jungle Boy. It looks just like Jungle Boy, all right? It looks just like the knee pads are specific to him, the boots. Everything about it looks incredible. I think the, the like, the, like, the proportions are perfect. It looks just like Jungle Boy. So, having Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus official figures in my pick fed is going to be so great. Not having to use customs is going to be so nice to pose those figure, figures around. So, this is the one thing that I say. is like, like, I know it takes a long time to get to My Damn Nation. By the time we get to My Damn Nation and by the time that show is produced, all of these new figures and epic things will be released so that we can, like, actually... 
I don't know, it'll make the posing and like the figures a lot better to use because they'll actually be official. But let's move on, guys. Jungle Boy looks incredible. I think it looks just like him. The next figure in the set is going to be Adam Hangman Page. Now, we do have two different Adam Hangman Pages, and we have the Chase variant version, which is going to be the win in the, you know, the HBK style entrance gear, and then you have the one in the long tights. I think both of them look good. I like the belt buckles. I like all the accessories we're getting. Both of these figures look really damn good. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with these. I love the boots. It looks like they fixed the foot mold on the on the regular version. The Chase variant version does look to, to kind of have the clown feet again, which isn't, I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Could easily be switched out, which we've seen in the past, but the regular version looks badass, man. I'm really looking forward to this Adam Hangman page. You get the picture, you get the shot glass or the, you know, the regular glass there. You get the bandana going over the face. You get the belt buckle. I mean, this is a really badass Adam Hangman page or Hangman Adam page, whatever you want to say. Really sick, man. Really, really sick. I'm enjoying both versions of Adam Hangman page, and I think that's all the good stuff. Next up, guys, is both versions of John Moxley. We have the regular version John Moxley in the yellow, black, and white tights with the sort of like I don't know, crazy head sculpt or kind of like, I don't know, a grunt, a disgruntled head sculpt. And then we have the Chase variant with the, like, screaming slash. You got the eye patch, you got the paradigm shift shirt, you got, like, the camo pants. I mean, I'm gonna be real, the Chase variant is definitely better, but the regular version is badass, too. The yellow camo pants looks really sick. And I love the Paradigm shirt. Like, God, dude, I wish we could get that shirt. Like, Jesus, that's so sick, man. So this is going to be our fourth John Moxley. We have four total John Moxleys. You have the Series 2, the Series 2 Chase. Then you have the Series 5 and the Series 5 Chase. Wish I could find these things, man. The, these two look outstanding. Wish I could get a whole mock collection and a loose collection of the Chase variants. Don't know how realistic that is at this juncture. May have to drop some mega bucks to make that happen. But uh, the John Moxley's look amazing. I love both of those. I think they look really, really great. And then finishing up our uh, Series 5 set, we have Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian making up our SCU Tag Team. Of course, we are missing Christopher Daniels, but we do have the AEW Tag Team Championships, which will look really good. Frankie Kazarian comes in his leather jacket. He has his knee pads, his boots on there. It looks to me like uh, Frankie Kazarian could be suffering the same fate as Series 3 Pac here. It looks like he's going to have those same boots. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully he actually has boot rotation. But the way I'm looking at this figure, I think that he may suffer that same fate. You know, we'll have to see when we get it in hand. But Frankie Kazarian looks just like Frankie Kazarian. The tag titles look fantastic, man. Like, good God, they look sick. And then the Scorpio Sky is a good head sculpt. He's got his hoodie vest. He's got the title. He's got the black and yellow gear, which we called like months back. I remember us discussing what gear they would have. And it looks like they do have the black, yellow and white so that is also excellent but Scorpio Sky is a guy I've always wanted in my collection so I can't wait to get this figure in hand it kind of looks like his legs look a bit weird they kind of look like Storm Collectibles legs so hopefully they're a lot more poseable than what I'm seeing here I don't I don't know what it is I think it's the leg mold and maybe it looks to be like these are new knees and you know we're not used to these knees it looks like uh, they're a bit different than the Cody figure so we'll just have to see when we get them in hand and everything but I know that every AEW figure can pose around so I know I, I don't think it'll have any issues with that it's just like the leg mold looks a little bit odd in this photo so we'll just have to see what that looks like when we come to it it, but Scorpio Sky looks great. The rest of Series 5 looks great. Luchasaurus is probably going to be the best figure ever made, at least to this juncture once it gets out. You know, I have Kenny Omega Series 4 at my number one, but this could easily take the cake if it ends up being as good as it looks. But that is it for all of our AEW figure news, guys. I had a ton of fun getting in here and letting you guys know all the things. I would love to know all of your personal thoughts on everything we covered in this video, guys. If you have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you missed our ranking from WWE Elite Series 1 through 5, we ranked every WWE figure from Elite Series 1 through 5 yesterday. Definitely go check out that video. I would really appreciate it. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. And this is actually going to go to OJB2008 who says you should rank more Elite Series. I really like this video, and uh, I appreciate that. I really enjoy the ranking videos, so if you guys really enjoy them, please let me know down below, as well as going to check those out, because the ones that you guys check out are the ones that I make the most of, so there you go. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to OBJ or OJB for that comment. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line. Cross the line, I've been beat.